guys, what is up? It's Jules and Saad. And we are just on like a roll with a little bad luck lately. Um, as you guys know, we've been like updating you guys and letting you guys know like what's been going on with us. And we want to keep it real with you guys on what's been going on. And we was going to keep one part of this, not, not the crazy part, a secret because we were surprising you guys with we something. We literally had videos planned out, like listed, like titles, everything, like ideas. And it clearly, it, it just all got ruined. Literally everything Okay, got long ruined. story short. No, we're gonna tell the whole story. Not yeah, even long no, story short. No, no. So rewind a couple, a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. This is before we got the Tesla. My family drove 14 hours here. They got exposed to COVID, had to go home. My grandma ended up getting COVID. My mom got COVID. My brother got COVID. Like every, everyone yeah, got it, yeah. okay? Like, and it took so long, like for each person to get it. And I was heartbroken if you guys saw, saw was literally filming me when I was crying. I didn't even know mm -hmm. in the beginning. So like that was literal raw emotion. I was heartbroken. And I feel like we just had a lot of struggles that we dealt with throughout the year. And we got the Tesla and that was like a highlight of 2022. We're so it's excited. Amazing. We were like, let's Kick go, it's my birthday. Year. And everyone in the comments was like, you guys deserved it. Like everything y'all have been through lately. And boom. We got hit with good news again. What? We were going to go somewhere. Yes. More so, good news, not boom yet. The boom I, ain't there yet. I uh -huh. had a business opportunity. A really great opportunity. Lined up in sunny California, mm. um, LA, which we have not traveled in a long time. The last time we traveled was for sod surgery. And that was the first time we traveled in over a year or two. Mm -hmm. I was talking to my mom. I was talking to everyone and everyone was like, you know what? Like we know, you guys know, like we have been so scared of COVID, like since it came out, like mm -hmm. terrified, especially when you lose a loved one to something, I feel like you are just like traumatized a little bit. Well, also you so, have an underlining problem. Also the underlying health condition, yeah. autoimmune disease, which I finally got under control and I haven't been sick since I got it. So I don't really know how my body would react. I've just been nervous, okay? I finally was like, you know what? I'm just gonna put my faith Everything's gonna be okay. We're not gonna get sick. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go. It's gonna be fine. We're not gonna be around a lot of people. This is a really big opportunity for me. And we decided we were gonna go. So we booked the tickets and- We got an Airbnb. We got an Airbnb that was not We started fundable. telling people, hey, like we're going to LA. We're, we're telling my- there telling our parents like oh this is gonna be exciting this is really good for us and i told the people i was like yeah i'm gonna be there and then i kid you not that night we were so we were just happy and antonio we were, was filming a video yeah and we were like julia was like oh let me let me film it for you i'll film it for you to be nice yeah so i was filming <laughs> antonio's one chip challenge that he posted on his channel his friends were here we were all downstairs it was a good time we were filming a video and that night <laughs> Antonio found out that he was exposed to COVID by someone like he was he was close to, like he was with. Yeah, like, yeah. Like physically close to, like, okay, that sounds weird. No, they were, we're going not. to the gym together. Yeah, they were bros. They were bros. <laughs> they're, they're going to the I gym just, together. I just meant like every day. And I was like, when was the last time you were with him? And he was like, today. And I was like, okay, uh, okay. okay. I'm gonna try not to freak so out. So then we started getting nervous because, hello, like. That was our first direct exposure. Yes. So I canceled everything. We freaked out. We were like, it's not worth it. I saw how long it took for my family to start feeling sick. Mm -hmm. And I was like, we're not gonna know. Like mm -hmm. with the time, we were supposed to go to LA in a couple days from the time we booked the tickets. And I was like, we're not gonna know. Mm -hmm. So we both made the decision together to cancel the tickets. So I told the people who the opportunity was for, guys, like I was exposed to COVID. I canceled everything. Like, I'm so sorry, I'm not gonna be able to come. Mm -hmm. Time, I say time. It was literally, what, the next day? It was two days later. Everyone was like talking to us like, oh, Antonio tested negative, like, we tested negative and mm. everyone was like, it's okay, go like, as long as you test negative before you go. Cause we had like, I would say like five days. We had um, six, yeah, we had five or six days. We had five or six to days like... to see what mm. would happen. We got persuaded. So 
we were like, okay, so we rebooked the tickets. We were like, we'll go if we test positive. Or everyone if we start was feeling, feeling bad. fine. Everyone was testing negative in the house. So we were like, okay, like maybe like he wasn't that close to him. Cause he was like, I didn't use any of the gym equipment that yeah, he used. Antonio I didn't, was he was like, like, I literally don't like, we all wear masks in school. So I was like, okay. Like he was like, I, everyone was like, I'm fine. Like you guys are fine. Like we're testing negative. As long as you test negative, come. Right. So we were like, okay. Like we were so a we little re-booked. nervous, but we rebooked just in case, just in case. Keep in mind, if we felt sick at all, we were We'd not going to go. Cancel it we again. still didn't even know. So I tell the people, okay, you know what? Test a negative. Um, if I still test negative, we'll come. Rebook the tickets. And then the next day... Wait, I'm trying to think about what happened. Because, like, this is literally happening. It was just... So, it was chaotic. So the next day, Antonio, like, was in our room. Like, he was like, oh, like, I was negative. Like, sitting in our love sack and stuff. Like, going downstairs. Like, when he said... What's the word? Like, when he first was negative and stuff, he was fine. And he came downstairs for, like, two days or a day. And one of the days, we were filming the um, 24 Hours in a Tesla. Yeah. Because we were, like, just in case we well, are... And I wanna- say yeah I had a gut feeling I kept I I knew like I was like it's gonna take him a couple days to test positive Mm -hmm. so I was keeping my distance just in case but he swore he was fine which obviously like he's not gonna know let let me reiterate because we have our timeline wrong the night we filmed 24 hours in the car was the was the the night night we we found found out out. it wasn't the night we filmed the chip challenge this whole week has been so insane so I don't know the timeline do not take our word on the timeline just know since we found out we have not gone anywhere okay since we Mm -hmm. found out we were exposed we have not gone anywhere i want to make that clear so fast forward two days after he tested negative whenever we we don't know the timeline exactly we've just been in our house he started started feeling bad and sod was like sod told me antonio said he's gonna start quarantining in his room again and i was like wait why because he's been telling me he's good i got suspicious and i was like hey buddy like what's going on and I, he said he feels like he thought he was sick but like he didn't know if and it was it. he basically was having some symptoms that rang in my head and i was like okay like you need to take another test so he took a test positive and he was positive and we were like Oh man, because now it's like a couple days out before we're going to California. Thank goodness he like tested again and we knew because now at this point we're calling canceling, like canceling everything because hello. And I just want to say I'm glad we found out it was positive so I canceled. And honestly, I should have kept everything canceled when I found out about the exposure in the first place. I shouldn't have let pressure and other words come in, but... Uh, they did. But all that matters is that we didn't go. We canceled the tickets Mm -hmm. and we tested ourselves and we are taking care of everything. We aren't going anywhere. We are quarantining. I'm literally like, if y'all see me with Starbucks, I'm getting an Uber Eats. We literally like, get I'm Uber not going Eats anywhere. I promise you. <laughs> yeah. And like, I just want you guys to know how serious we take this. Everyone can have their own stance. I'm not on that five day stuff. I'm on that OG 14 days. <laughs> stay in your room. Like I'm keeping this kid in his room. We're staying in our room well we go downstairs he's locked in his room sorry like it's our house we're gonna I mean, be out he, about he'd be in his room all day even if he wasn't sick he's always in his room so i don't think it's such a bother he's getting everything brought to his door i am so thankful we found out before the trip mm-hmm. yes the trip got ruined it was a very big opportunity it happened to us at the worst time yeah. but it is not Antonio's fault. It's not like oh, he no. knew we could get it anytime, anywhere. Yeah. It just sucks that we happened to Our get it. Our first time right. in actual contact was the, right before we go. The one time we were like, okay, we're gonna put our fear of COVID aside and we're gonna go do this opportunity. It happened. Yeah. So that's and what kind of sucks. I wanna say, like, cause this was never talked about with us, cause I don't think we've ever talked about it on YouTube. I had something to do in California. Oh, yeah. Um, a couple months ago and we bought the tickets for it and everything and like we didn't tell anybody like we didn't tell social media We didn't tell anybody we're really excited to go. We went to the airport. We were an we were like 30 minutes away from boarding the plane. Yeah, we no, we was terminal. like in the terminal, went through security, checked in our bags and literally everything. And we were like, 
I can't. We were I, too I, I can't. Like I, I don't, I don't want to go. It made me nervous, and it was a big opportunity for me. And thankfully, they understood, and like yeah. they still want to work with me and stuff like that. So I really do love and appreciate them for that. Same goes thankfully, for you. My people understand like too. we, we still got love for them. We love them so much. It's just like it happened at the worst time this time. It really it's been, been, we've been quarantining now for the last. I'd say like four or five days. Like we yeah. haven't been out yeah. for four or five days. We've been staying in. Everything we get, we Uber eats it or like DoorDash. Like Instacart I got Pedia like popsicles. We Instacart our groceries. Yeah. We aren't going anywhere. I just want you guys to know that we do take this very serious. I hope you guys know from day one, we have taken this very serious and mm -hmm. that's why we canceled the flights when we even found out about exposure. Mm -hmm. There was just a lot of misleading information with that and if you test negative to still go and I am glad that things turned out the way they did because I would feel so bad if I went somewhere and spread it to anyone. And so, then like, wow, imagine if Antonio didn't test himself that day and then like, I we're in California. Feeling. I had a gut feeling though. That's, that's, that's why. what I mean. And then we're in California and we get a call. Oh yeah, he tested positive. Then I would be nervous. I'm going to get everybody else sick. Yeah. So. So, and people can call us dramatic. They can call us paranoid, anything they want. I am taking this serious. I will continue to take this serious as well as Saad. Mm -hmm. And we, for those of the, you that ask, we feel fine. We feel perfectly normal. Thank God, knock on wood. I have learned, especially through this experience with Antonio, it does take a couple days to, to feel, figure it out. Yeah. So as of right now, we're in a waiting game stage, which for me and my mental health, I freaked out. Like when I, when I found out about the positive, like I had a break down. I had like a panic attack because I was so scared, but I feel like I got that out and right now it still is the waiting game. We phase. just, right now, we're doing everything as in staying hydrated, drinking lemon water. We have Pedialyte popsicles. We have like cough drops on hand. We have and vitamins. Vitamins that we've already been taking because of just everything going on. And since my top surgery, I've been taking vitamin, I don't even know what it is, C or D. I don't yeah, know Yeah, vitamin is. C. I've been taking 500 milligrams a day. Like, so, you know, we're taking the precautions and we're being really safe about it. So maybe, the, the, probably the next couple of videos are going to be here, but. They will. While you guys are watching this, it's like, I don't know, it's a couple days in already. And yeah, we just want to let you guys know and just keep you updated with our lives and what's really been going on behind scenes. And we were gonna tell you guys two videos ago, our last video that we were going to California, but then we were like, let's keep it a secret. Let's make them excited. And then all of this stuff just like compiled together and happened. So here's the whole video explaining what happened and I just think why it, so it got crazy. ruined. I bought like over a thousand dollars worth of clothes for <laughs> <laughs> she really I think, did. I was supposed to have a photo shoot and all. Yeah. I'm just like, out of any time. But like, Antonio really did feel bad. And it's like, it's not his fault, but he did apologize. He didn't apologize to me much. It was it's you. because no, he knew I was upset. I know. But it's he, not his fault. It's I'm not just, his fault. My whole thing is just, I'm just like. Right now. We've gone right now. since this started. 2022? Yeah. Well, actually, I'm glad what? it happened now. I'm glad it happened instead uh, of the beginning. Because yeah, the symptoms were a lot. A lot. Yeah. Um, but that has what's been going on in our life. Um our plans are ruined, but if you enjoyed this video, okay. give it a thumbs up. But honestly, um, we're just trying to stay positive about the whole situation and just taking precautions and wiping down still, cleaning, just making sure the house is nice and clean, which is really good because while Antonio like tested negative still, and we were like still like worried, I was spraying down the house still, yeah. regardless. So I'm like, I'm really happy we Can still took those steps. Can I also address something not related? I also oh, want to address something not related to- Wait, you're like, I need to speak. Sorry y'all, I've been a little tired. Guys, I'm not hurt about the last to leave the car with the thyroid thing, so don't don't attack Saad. Wait, what? I, you probably haven't read the comments. I'm getting attacked? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, it's it's okay. Like it's all fun in game. Like I knew getting out of that car, it was gonna cancel. We honestly could have made it so that I could have carried on, but it, it's okay. Like we didn't we didn't have to. I'm not upset with Saad. That's what we do in these videos. That's what we do in these situations. We hype it up. We over exaggerate. 
Never in a million years would Saad actually keep me from getting my medicine. Dude, and what? I, and I hope <laughs> Why is this news to me? There were just a lot of comments like saying that same, it was same, it was honest. it was messed up that like you I joked? Yeah, like you were having too much enjoyment and like me losing and that you Dude, gave me, if I had to go get my You said you should have gave me a thyroid pass. No such thing. <laughs> no such thing. Just no, like he's not it wasn't actually cruelty. Like it it's fine. It was all fun and games. Like it, it's good, you guys. I appreciate y'all looking out guys, for me. Guys, I take care of this girl. No, though. seriously. Like, listen, when I found out that we were sick and I was crying, this man literally held me and said, I will not let anything happen to you. And I was like, You're not in control of that. And he said, I will not let anything happen to you. Wow, I didn't know I was getting eat like that. Just a little. You was reading it like, yeah. <laughs> but anyway. We'll do another challenge another time. It sucks, we could've did the last to leave the closet now. I know. We would've been chilling. We have to find the last last to leave the love sack. Nah, these dogs will crawl Ew. on us. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But yeah, we just want to tell you guys and just update you on what everything is. And um, uh, What do you guys want to see while we're quarantined? Comment yeah. below. It's not like we go anywhere anymore. We don't really. We go to Target. Trader Joe's. Yeah. That's about it. TJ Maxx. We but, really haven't been there in a while. No. But, but anyway, guys, we are going to end this video here. Thank you in advance for all the love. We love you guys. And we'll see you later. And stay, stay one. one.